boys and girls, welcome back uh, to Live from Saturn. I'm Frank Perrine. Cody Decker. Duncan Gale. And today we're going to be talking about Bullet Train. This was recommended. This is a viewer recommendation from Will Irwin. Will. Um, so this is, a, this is like his second recommendation. I've, I've been a fan of a lot of them. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's, it's a good rec. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I guess we can give a little background information about it. I think that'd be, yeah, okay. that'd be great. Excellent. All right. So uh, bullet train was written by uh Kataro Isaka. Um, and so obviously what we are reviewing is the, the English translation of it because it was originally written in uh, Japanese. Uh, but uh, yeah, this book is a pretty recent book. I think it just came out last year. Uh, at least the English edition. And um, so, yeah, what we have here is um, basically a sort of crime thriller sort of uh, story. And it takes place on a on, on the famous bullet train uh, that uh, Japan is known for. And we have a couple of different characters here. So uh, first off, we have this character, uh, Yuichi uh, Kimura, um, who is basically out for revenge uh, because uh, his uh, son was injured um, by this uh, other um, teenage character uh, known as the, the Prince. And uh, yeah, so the Prince is also a, yeah, a very major character. He's sort of a, a, a sociopathic uh, teenager. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of really, really interesting stuff about him. Uh, and his sort of um, inner inner life. Um, so yeah, so yeah, that's that, that's the, yeah, yeah. So there's the, there's sort of a bunch of different storylines that kind of kind of intersect uh, at times. So so we have we have them, uh, and then we have uh, these other two characters, uh, Tangerine and Lemon, um, who are on this other job. And the, yeah, these are uh, yeah sort of uh, hitmen type guys who are also on the uh, bullet train, and they are. Um, tasked with having uh, rescued the son of uh, this um, guy who's a, a very um, sort of high-ranking guy in organized crime in Japan, this guy uh, Minichki, who is, um, who is a character that uh, only really appears briefly at the end, but uh, he's, he's sort of talked about a lot. So, so this, this other character, Minichki, is very kind of uh, present within the story as well. And then uh, finally, uh, the other main character of this would be this guy named uh, Nanao, who is another sort of um, hitman type um, uh, mercenary for hire. And, um, and he also has a lot of interactions with this, this woman, Maria, who is sort of his, his handler. And, uh, yeah, and so, so basically, so these, these three stra strands, uh, Yuichi and the prince, Tangerine and Lemon, and then Nanao and Maria, uh, were sort of introduced to all of these different characters, and then they will their paths will intersect uh, on the uh, bullet train uh, throughout the uh, throughout the narrative. So, yeah, I guess that's 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 the main setup. Uh, In a nutshell. Yeah. yeah it um, and it also has an audio book narrated by Pun <coughs> Bandhu. Yeah. Who yeah. I, I I really liked him. Yeah, he was great. It was good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I I really I really enjoyed the beginning of it a little bit. Um, this is every uh, time I, this, and this anytime someone tells me to try anything, honestly, yeah. I initially I'm like I'm going to hate this. <laughs> um, I don't I'm I don't your standards low. It's not I don't like, but I am like okay, I'll do this. But I, it yeah. took like a couple of like uh, minutes before I was like, oh, this is awesome. Yeah, um, no, it did for me too. But, but I mean, you're just coming off of. You know, I mean, me, I'm just coming off to listen to a zombie book or something. Mm. So it's like all of a sudden, you man, you're switching gears on me totally, <laughs> right. you know. Uh, um, yeah, this gave me, um, do you guys see the nice guys? No, no, you see the nice guys with um, freaking Ryan Gosling and I think it's Gerard Butler. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, this had this felt like the vibe of that, okay. Um, to the point where I've like looked it up, like, was this like, yeah. Well, that had a vibe like a lot of different things. Yeah. Like uh, Ocean's Eleven. I mean, it had, <laughs> had a vibe of all sorts of different things, but. Yeah. Um, Definitely some uh, Quentin Tarantino influence. Yeah. Mm. Say, yeah. It was, uh, yeah, it was really good, though. I mean, once they started going with it, it was great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, I, I am a sucker for goons. 
um, mm. with Tangerine and Lemon. I don't know a story where there have been goons where it's like one guy is the wise guy and the other guy is the, great. the right. off one. That yeah. was so great. And I, I, I love it every time. I thought the Thomas the Tank thing was going to get old. <laughs> oh, I, I was really like, wow, they're still doing it. And then sure. the payoff to it, I was also, I yeah. was actually like, oh, wow, okay. Yeah. I really was like, this is, I like this now, but I'm going to hate this later. Yeah. And then it ended yeah. up being like, that was, that ac- it actually had a point besides being like quirky. Yeah, so everyone everyone was on this train, just to let people know. So everyone was on this train, so you have multiple different characters, which is unique and, and pretty cool, kind of like a clue or mm-hmm. you know, mystery theater or something like that. So you had multiple people on, on this train, um, and you get to know each one of these people, uh, which was I think was great. Uh, it, they did it really well, I think, in my opinion. Uh, I, was, I was enjoying it. Once I got past that first couple pages, you know, mm-hmm. um, then I started realizing what was happening. I'm like, oh, this is pretty, pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah. The uh, the uh, characterization, yeah, of those those goons, as you as you describe them, yeah, yeah, tangerine and lemon, yeah, is is particularly interesting. And yeah, as you mentioned, yeah. So yeah, the one guy, lemon, he's a little bit of, a, I guess you could say, a, a simpler kind of guy. And yeah, and so he's uh, very much into Thomas the uh, tank engine, and sort of. Uh, sees all of the world in terms of the characters from Thomas the Tank Engine and feels like you can just sort of categorize people. Okay, yeah. which mm. character from that show are you, and which <laughs> character uh, from that show are you? And it actually turns out that that's that that's a, a surprisingly effective <laughs> way to sort of uh, figure yeah. out people's psychology. And then the other guy, Tangerine, who is probably the character that I most identified with uh, in the book. He's uh, really into a lot of, you know, uh, literary stuff. Mm. He reads uh, Faulkner. He reads Dostoevsky and stuff like that. And so, you know, I, and, and, and those are, those are some writers that uh, I really like as well. So I really um, sympathized a lot with his uh, sort of um, way of, way of looking at things as well. Which so. I like that they felt like real friends too. Cause the, mm-hmm. who, who was the one that was into Thomas? Was that Tangerine? Was that, was, that was, that was a uh, lemon. Lemon yeah. was into Tangerine. And he's yeah. like, you need mm-hmm. to watch Thomas the Tank Engine and right, Lemon right. or Tangerine's <laughs> like, you don't read any of the books I recommend. Exactly. Like they had, right? <laughs> that they do just have this genuine conversation where it is just like, well, maybe if you read a thing I recommend instead of talking about your thing all the time, we could have more stuff to talk about. And it's right, like, this right. is like, this is just a, an argument they constantly have. <laughs> I like it. I'm like, yeah, that's, that's a real conversation for sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I think it was actually, I mean, it was brilliant how he did that, how you have one end of the spectrum, the other end mm-hmm. of the spectrum to make one person. Mm-hmm. I, I think they did that extremely well. Uh, you know, I mean, even they talked about that they've done other jobs without each other, but most of the time they're doing stuff together. And then later on in the book, when other things happen, you really feel, yeah, um, yeah, this is one of the, this, this. This says it's a dark satire, mm-hmm. and it is like, oh, like yeah. it is like oh, a, yeah. a comedy. And like while I was you know when I was getting into it, I was just like smiling, like this is neat. I'm actually just enjoying this in general. But then it gets serious sometimes. Yeah, and then when it does, I'm like, oh, that's like, oh, this is tricking me into learning about things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like when it gets into genocide, I'm like, yeah, there's no joke here. This is just about like this event yeah. and then how this like shaped this person's perspective. <laughs> right. And oh, how the character is always having bad luck. That was me all the way. <laughs> oh yeah. Where yeah. I'm planning around my luck. <laughs> which and which resulted in like the biggest slapstick comedy oh, that was great. thing in like during like the big climax where I'm like, yeah. I'm like I'm into him like you get those guys and he's like ah and then like just this like wacky slapstick is is happening. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely the uh, the uh, theme of luck <laughs> is uh, very prevalent throughout. I mean, some characters have nothing but good luck. Some characters have nothing but bad luck. And well, it's the main two. Can be, it's yeah. the main two, almost like yin right, and yang. Right. They, I mean, he does that. I think through the book where he's actually composing two different points of view right um just like the bad guy mm. always lucky mm-hmm. he always unlucky yeah and how how it just mingles through just mm-hmm. the same thing like tangerine lemon same thing i i, I saw it yeah. a lot through the book that's like good i didn't yeah i didn't i didn't notice like i mean yeah because now is the unlucky one and the prince right. is like so lucky right. to the point where right. he like trusts it right yeah right, and right. it like genuinely does help on him and this is like whenever they make a, a character that like you hate and mm-hmm. i'm like ah oh, yeah. Oh, I hope they get that mean old print. Like, and I'm not thinking like, oh, they wrote this guy to be mean. Right. And I'm like, oh, I'm I'm just like in the in the world being like, I hope I can't wait till he gets his just desserts. That mean old prince man. Well, that right. was yeah. I was the same way. I was the same way. I I don't. I was disappointed in that aspect. Because mm. you know, in in, in uh, which which uh, aspect? Yeah, in the aspect of 
of mm-hmm. of, of Prince's come up come up come up it's okay because okay, there yeah, is yeah. a come up yeah. but it's like implied you feel like implied and yeah, yeah, you know i wanted to be physically there mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> that, yeah yeah when they, they didn't get... actually show it yeah <laughs> yeah. Right, right, yeah. Yeah. yeah that is a thing i don't like in, very in, disappointing in stories where like a villain gets a, does like terrible things and then they either like in, in a fantasy storylines one of them maybe one that you've read um with mist in it there's oh. a villain who does like who tortures people for yeah. years and years and then he just gets his head chopped off in a minute. Yeah, that's it. In a sec, in one swipe. And I was like, oh, I, you know, yeah. maybe this is a me problem, but I wanted to see him suffer and I wanted yeah. to hear him beg for his life. Yeah. yeah. Or I at mean, least like his thought process is yeah. as his head hits the ground and mm-hmm. he looks at all the people understanding that he's, you know, done wrong mm-hmm. as he sees the flames of hell. Yes. I mean, that's, that's. Right. I mean, you know, maybe some sort of, you know, Disney villain type thing where like we see, we, we see him like fall into this like pit and like, you know, we don't actually see you know him getting get, him getting dismembered or anything but we see him like ah <laughs> you know as he as he at, goes down you yeah, at least know that this guy is yeah, feeling yeah. Mm-hmm. the terror yeah. the same terror and fear he put into other people that's yeah, what i, right. I like in a, i don't like it in a, in a any storyline where the villain either gets off easy or you don't let me get a get a piece of that pie exactly yeah, right, right let me get a taste of his suffering yeah yes. but 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 yeah i i mean this book is uh I, yeah, I mean, technically, it's like a you know crime thriller, you know, pulpy type of book, but but China uh, Express, yeah, yeah, masterpiece yeah. theater. Well, <laughs> but it's, it's are, very it's very yeah. like mm-hmm. that where there's multiple characters, uh-huh. clue, different right, places right, where right. you have multiple characters that you that you you that you're invested in. Mm-hmm. You know, oh, definitely, yeah. but 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 it's it sneaks in all of this like uh, you know really deep psychological, mm-hmm. yeah. philosophical stuff. And uh, yeah, I mean, actually, I was looking at some reviews on Amazon, and one person actually complained about that. <laughs> they were like, "Yeah, you know, I really didn't like all the like philosophy <laughs> stuff." And it's like, wow, you know, I guess I am I am the exact opposite of a lot of you know the typical Amazon reviewers. <laughs> you know, it's, yeah, I mean, that was like the you know highlight for me, but. Uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, if if there is like, there's a guy who's unlucky and lucky, there's a guy who's super serious, and the guy's in the childish things. It is like it's a comedy, but then it does cover like mature adult things. So it's like, right. so that's probably yeah. part of the. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's part of it. Yeah, I saw one review, yeah. um, which was just like, ah, oh, there's the bled doesn't make up for the or the the meh or whatever. And I'm like, there the yeah. only I was like, there, it, the, the story never stops. Like right. I I don't remember a point being like, oh, this was boring. Oh, it is yeah. just like it takes like breaks yeah. where it's like, oh, we're going to talk about this thing now. And I'm like, oh, right. I'm like, oh, I didn't know about that. I didn't mm-hmm. know that was this is one of those books where I'm just like bugging my roommates and telling them like and then in the in the book, this happened right, and right. then this happened. And they're like, uh huh. Yeah. And I'm like, you should you should watch the movie when it comes out, which there is a movie coming up. <laughs> yes, yeah. There is. I, yeah. I, I, I um, I'm not really having a lot of faith in it. <laughs> well, yeah, there's the story itself was mm-hmm. very I mean, there's a lot of things in there and I could see how Hollywood in my movie mind is gonna fuck it up. Okay, well, if we that. if we want to do right. bets, that uh, um, <laughs> we can watch. It. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I avoided watching the trailer. All I know is Brad Pitt's in it, but right. I am like, there is no way they're going to include the bit about the genocide in the movie. No, like I know how they could do it, where they like mm. you know you can have flashbacks and like give someone giving a presentation. You can see him like learning about you. They could adapt it into the movie, but then it's like, are they going to? Because you see that people, the general audience does have an issue with like. Oh, why'd they get into that stuff? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then when they have that real talk about alcoholism and stuff, that made me go like, man, I need to go get yeah. I was like, I need to drink a lot. <clears throat> like, like it actually like the, the words like yeah. stuck with me. And I don't know if they're going to keep that serious. Like I said, though. there's so much packed into this. Mm-hmm. I, I, I can't see them. I could see them Hollywood massacring it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you if you see the uh, trailer for this movie, it looks very sort of light and and like almost like a sort of comedy or, or something. And yeah, I think it's going to lose a lot <laughs> a lot in that translation. I, I mean, it it may be one of those things where like you know the you know book is good and the movie is good, but they're like two different things. Yeah. Now, who's uh, the director? Uh, the guy behind the Deadpool director. too. But okay. I'll tell you who uh. does know, and I'll, I'll tell you now, and I'll tell you I'll tell you repeatedly. Mm-hmm. Um, the director. Is oh yeah he didn't say the name. Uh, Will says just the director of Deadpool too. Ah, okay. I thought he wrote the name on. Now that. what's okay. funny is that you have. I'm not a Quentin Tarantino fan. Mm-hmm. Oh really? I, no, I think I his, don't. I think his first movie was the best. Mm. Um, uh, Reservoir Dogs, and yep. I think that um, that they unleashed him 
and let him do whatever he wanted. And mm -hmm. I think it, with more control, I think he could make great movies. Now, people are going to hate me for that. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not the but, best. But are you saying that Quentin Tarantino is indulgent and <laughs> undisciplined? <laughs> <laughs> he, well, let me put it this way: some movies that he's made, um, like *Inglorious Bastards* and stuff like that, right. he had the opportunity to uh, make something that was timeless. Sure, like like *The Bridges and Have*, uh, you know, and all those older movies. Something that mm -hmm. would have been, um, but then you throw just stuff in there that, you know, like the slapstick stuff about the Germans and different things like that. Right. He did that even in. The Hollywood movie where here he has a flamethrower. You could have left that whole shit out, <laughs> and that and that movie would have been a great movie. Oh, yeah, I it, thought that now, was but, the but best, that's what I mean. But that fans, was the best part of that. Movie. But fans, <laughs> fans love that. This this would be perfect for him. Well, and I, I, yeah. I one of the things of you, perfect when you mentioned Tarantino, I'm thinking like because Pulp Fiction, all also his movies. I think I enjoy them once in the theater and then I'm done. I've like I've like I've, when Once Upon a Time was coming out, I was like, you know what? I'll rewatch Inglorious Bastards, and I'm watching I'm like, ah, oh, this is just fine. I'm not, I don't want to watch this ever again. Yeah. Um, but Pulp Fiction starts with that cheeseburger conversation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, it's a Royale with cheese. And it doesn't really come into play in the scenes later. But, like, when they're talking about Thomas the Tank Engine. Right. I, like, I'm assuming, oh, it's one of those dialogues. But then it does become important because it's, like, a core yeah. part oh, yeah. of, the, of the world and the character. And so it has this, like, bigger feel. Like, in Tarantino, I, yeah, there are scenes where, like, oh, he wanted to include a scene like this. Right. But in this one, right. it's like that the, That dialogue actually mattered. Yeah. I think I think he would be great if he directed this movie. I mean, it's already directed. It's already done. But right. I think the way that he does filmmaking, this would have been perfect. Mm -hmm. He has a way of mm -hmm. do those, especially the comedic interaction with characters, I think. Oh, would sure. Be great. Yeah. 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 Well... Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's definitely there's some there's some Tarantino influence. Like like in the trailer, there's yeah, there's like one part where like Brad Pitt is like fighting with some guy, and then like the uh, the the woman comes in with the like uh, drink car, and they and, and they like stop and they and, and, and they like, like order <laughs> drinks and stuff, and so you know that's the wasp. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah, probably. That's what I loved yeah. about it. I lo the what theory. I loved about it yeah. <laughs> was that it's like. It, it, Okay, all of them are in on this, but you don't know how they're in on it. You have multiple assassins on mm -hmm. this train when you shouldn't because the guy bought out all the tickets. Which I, so li I like that too. It they was have a, great. Right. It was great. That so it's talk. like, so everyone on this freaking train technically could be somebody. Yeah, that's, sure. yeah, because there are, there's also like behind the scenes assassins and the assassins in the story are still like, who, who do you think yeah. is the background assassin? Have? So it's like a, and also it starts with, um, the, the 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 whole goal of what they're trying to do has already failed. Yes. Right. And so now it's just about like, okay, um, we're gonna need to yeah. get off this train at some point, but our yeah. d our lives kind of depended on this thing happening that didn't happen. Right. Yeah. It's just total, you know, triage from the from the beginning. Yeah. Because yeah, Tangerine and Lemon are trying to uh, rescue this uh, the the son <laughs> of this organized crime guy and. Uh, the kid gets killed, like yeah, yeah. and and he's you know, just I, transferring him home to his dad. Yeah, they already right, right. rescued him. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah, they're they like, rescued they, him. they're like, yeah. we looked over and he was just dead. Yeah, and like yeah. we don't know what happened. Yeah, so yeah, so he's dead, and then the guy in the now is supposed to steal the suitcase and get off the train, but he can't. He 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 has such famously bad luck that he can't even get off the train <laughs> when he's actually stepping off the train. He sees some guy that he knows. Yeah. <laughs> who doesn't like him, who pushes him back on the train. <laughs> yeah. 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 That was great. Dude, totally me. <laughs> where I'm planning my whole life around how my shitty luck is. <laughs> All the time. All the time. Yeah, they have that togger. He's like, he's like, well, what if I tried to do something that would fail? And the person's like, then it would probably work. Mm -hmm. But, like, unless you wanted it to fail, whatever you want right. to do just won't happen. There's no... Yeah. Right, like, right. they talk about, like, is there a way we could use this to our yeah, advantage? Totally. Right, right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, and there's, I mean, there's a recurring theme, theme that happens with like people talking about how you know you you uh, you uh, could have go you could have gotten off the train at this point, but you didn't realize that you could have gotten off it, and by the time you realize that you could have gotten off it, it's it's uh, too late, and the train keeps going. And, yeah. you know, that's yeah. definitely. A, you think that's a metaphor for something? It sounds like a metaphor. <laughs> yeah. <you know? laughs> I don't know. I mean, this is how bad my luck is, right? Mm -hmm. And I'll just really fast with the fans. <laughs> right, right. So uh, when I was younger, I haven't had a strip like this in a little bit. Mm -hmm. But playing golf, 
get hit in the face with a golf ball. Someone mm. was driving a golf ball on the other thing, goes through a hole in the net, hits me right in the face, right? Oh, my God. I'm talking, go to Kaiser. <laughs> they x-ray me because I have good luck and bad luck, right? Mm -hmm. They say, you are the luckiest person. If you had your mouth shut, it would have broken all your Oh, teeth. my God. Oh my God. <laughs> so I was lucky, even though my face is numb and I have this, like, you know, that's, so that's, yeah, that's the thing where you're bleeding and you're like, and you're like, are you sure? Are you yeah, sure we're lucky? No, you're lucky. Yeah. <laughs> right. And so at the same time, I'm playing softball. <laughs> so I've never played softball in my life. Mm. My dad was a computer analyst. Didn't know anything about softball, football, whatever. Um, and my brother-in-law, huge fan, is telling me I have to slide into second. So I go and I slide. He says it's a natural thing. It is a not a natural thing. So I end up... Uh, my wrist hurts, and yeah, I'm a baseball player. I work in a warehouse. Next day, I couldn't move it. Go to Kaiser, and it's broken. Lady says to me, aren't you the guy that got hit in the <laughs> face with a golf ball? I'm like, that's me. That's me. <laughs> so I get this big cast, go in my boss's office to tell her that I can't work, sit on this chair, and her wall clock just falls off the wall right on my head, dude. Oh, comic. Oh. This is now. This is like, this is real. This is real. <laughs> I'm telling her how bad my luck is, and then that's what happens. So stuff like that plagues my life. The only I like. <laughs> so I, I I had a connection to this guy. I remember there was yeah. one point where I was like I th I thought like I understood like how like you know like oh this is the comedic timing of the world. And I remember like in elementary like middle school, I was walking with my friends and I, and like I saw people playing like football, and I was like guys let's just stop right here because I feel like this is the timing for us to get hit. And then like while we're, when we pause the the ball like lands right in front of us where we would have landed. And for a long time, I was like, oh, my God, I can see the future. And then, you know, I realized they we they, they, they saw a bunch of nerds walking. They threw a ball at us. Yeah. <laughs> that, it wasn't so much. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't me predicting the future. It was. That's, uh, that's kind of cool, though. Uh, imagine if you walk around thinking you're. Yeah. For a while, I was like, Jesus Christ. Yeah. I, mm -hmm. I see. And it's funny, even with even with his going back to the book, right? Even with his bad luck, it really isn't bad luck. It's it's he's still just making choices. Right. It's not like things are just happening to him where, you know, a bolt of lightning crashes him. It's like he's making those decisions that are kind of creating his luck. What I, what I liked about that, too, is he has bad luck, but it, you, it like, genuinely is wrecking his mind. Yes. And, like, how he is just like, yeah. I don't know what to do. Because every time I do something, yeah. it's the wrong decision. And, it, and he's like, and I would have right. done this, so I, I should do this. And how freaking funny is that where you create a character that's a freaking assassin that has bad luck? <laughs> right. Oh yeah, yeah, that definitely. Well, yeah, and it's and it's weird how like, yeah, I mean, he's presented as somebody with this, you know, terminal bad luck, but he also has this weird effectiveness when he's like cornered into these situations. Ladybug. Uh, yeah, 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 um, yeah. Uh, Ladybug is his uh, code name. Yeah, and I mean, he's he's presented as somebody who is extremely effective at uh, being able to break people's necks. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and, that, it's, and it's and it's and it's yeah. because they they explain in the book how a butterfly will just crawl up all the way to the top of the grass and then fly off, and right. they say he's very effective in in that pinch moment mm -hmm. where it's right. it's you have to do something. He's so effective at it. I had to rewind because I was like, right. was that him? Or was that someone else? Because he uh -huh. he was just like, and at one point he like does it like in a panic, and he just like kills someone. Oh, right. dude, and he does it, and it's like if he would have just waited five minutes, <laughs> it, it would have been better for him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That that's a whole yeah. thing, and that one part with the prince. Yeah, I, there were there were deaths that happened. I wasn't happy with. I was like, okay, well that could, but this guy's still here, right? Ah, uh -huh. okay. Right. Yeah, one well, of that's... my couple of characters I really enjoyed didn't make it. That's what I'll say. Well, yeah, indeed, yeah. And you could listen to it or read it, and then we'll all talk about the movie. But you know, so what did you guys think of? Let's say the prince. Mm -hmm. Um. I, I, I always enjoy seeing how someone makes a, a character that I'm supposed to want to see, f like, fall. Yes. Um, so it is like, oh, this is the most wicked character who's also in a position, who's a, you, abusing, like, multiple positions of power he has over multiple people. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, I can't wait till he gets his comeuppance. But then it's like, you are like, oh, yeah. And then he has this person who, like, and you learn more about the relationship as it goes yeah. on. And it. And how, like, just that little thing, like, broke him, and now he's, like... Um, so, yeah, it, like, writing a character that I'm supposed to hate, I was like, oh, this is... They're doing the right job, because I really hate this guy. Oh, I really hated him. Yeah, yeah, I mean... Uh, the, and uh, shocking, some of the things that mm -hmm. he did. You're just like... I mean, I had to actually go, oh, holy, holy. Mm -hmm. oh, when sure. I was listening to it, it was... Um, yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, I mean, the prince, while certainly not my favorite character, <laughs> was probably the most fascinating character mm -hmm. in terms of the overall descriptions of his uh, his inner life, his his thoughts, and yeah, there. I, I mean, it goes into a lot of crazy stuff about how he like researched the uh, Rwandan genocide yeah. and was able to see the uh, yeah the relationship between the uh, Hutus and the uh, Tutsis and and that 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 whole situation and, and how that was just a result of you know psychological manipulation and how he he as this 14 year old kid was able to internalize those lessons and apply them to his own <laughs> his own life and say oh yeah, yeah I can I can manipulate people the same way that the Rwandan <laughs> uh, dictatorship did and it's it's really quite uh, quite uh, chilling that know? and that that was interesting because it's like you do see like and I'm like I be, like it's like usually like psychopathic characters are like mm -hmm. is this the villain but he felt right. real because like I, he's like oh I saw what people would let other people do right as long as because like the UN guards were to, like this was like I didn't know any of those mm -hmm. was the UN guards were told like oh only attack if like they attack you first Right. So they just let people walk into, which is right. interesting, you mm -hmm. know, with events happening now, reading that. So, oh, um, yeah. Yeah, that whole thing. Uh, I mean, you're old enough. You remember it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So it was a we were we were arguing on what color the U.N. vehicles for us to send in would be blue. Yeah. But we were arguing that. <laughs> right. And, and, be, and so we we. We uh, there was a lot of countries that didn't get involved. The only reason some countries got involved because bodies were washing up in their countries, mm -hmm. and so you know when you're talking about numbers that are staggering. You yeah, know? Th th that's where they say it was like four deaths a minute with like machetes. Yeah, with machetes, right. and it was all they all knew was going to happen. Yeah. They, they dropped off the machetes, and then on the radio hit this signal mm -hmm. and told everyone to go to it. So it was, and no one, you know. Yeah, and tough. the villains basically just like, oh, you can do, you can get away with stuff like that in this world. Well, so, especially, especially in the end of it, where you're like, okay, now we got all the peace, but you know, now you just go back to your life. Mm -hmm. right. You know, I'm the I'm the coffee guy that just hacked up 15 people. Mm, yeah, mm -hmm. and now everything's cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, this the uh, the uh, prince is really like evil in its purest form. Where yeah. where where I mean, I mean, it keeps talking about how. All that he is concerned with is amusing himself yeah. with what he can get away with. I mean, it's 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 not like you know other, you could sto care other less stories. As long as someone will bleed, right? Yeah, you know? because he always yeah. wants that in the end. Yeah, it's it's not like he's this guy who's like doing these bad things for this greater good. No, there's no. there's no greater good. It's just his own his own amusement, and that's that's really sort of like the core of what pure evil is. Yeah. You, know? you thought Darth Vader was pure evil. Oh no! No, this guy. He was trying he was to bring order to the galaxy. Yeah, yeah. he at least was, he was doing do. a thing. Yeah, yeah. This, uh, I like too that his two motive, like his two things that shaped his worldview, were like learning about the genocide, right, and like how people would just let this many people die, and then like would be worried about other things mm -hmm. over this. And when he got like a rare trading card, right. Oh, I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> so he learned about like the true depths of like what humanity we will just ignore. As long right. as it doesn't affect them. And also, when a kid was like, I'll pay you money for that card. And a guy's mm -hmm. like, I'll do your chores for a week. Right. And he right. realized, like, what you can, what people will do for just for a little bit of. For like, a Charmeleon. Oh, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To be fair, a shiny. Is that one worth. <laughs> I know nothing about it. I, I don't know. Yeah, I, I know shiny Pokemon are worth more. Are they? Yeah. I, I think they're like different colors. They're not even shiny. I don't, I don't even. I don't know anything about Yeah, I never Pokemon. got into Pokemon. Yeah, no, nothing. Anymore. No. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> None of us got into. All right, yeah, the good. No. Yeah, I don't get it. I, magic like, either. The gathering. Oh yeah, yeah. I never. I was into uh, magic for, <laughs> for, for a while. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. It was. It was one of those things where like there were so many people that were into magic that like I had to get into it to just like maintain my friendships for a while. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I, couldn't, I got I into D and D. Attention. That was cool. Well, I, I. I mean, I played D and D when it first came out, so. You know, I'm 54, so. Oh, you look so, 20. Thank you. But when I first got when we first got it, we played it. You know, first Monster Manual, the whole nine yards, and then uh, cool. I I ended up, I ended up going on because I really didn't like the rules um, to me. So I ended up kind of creating my own games. So you know, one of the rules for you D and D people, you know what I'm talking about. I mean, to me, I just thought it foolish if I'm a you know level 17 elf that I can't hit you know a bugbear that's 15 feet in front of me. Yeah, some of those rules are... So we just got rid of the dice. 
And I mean, if you're that close to something, I'm sure you're going to hit it. Right. Yeah. If you're if you're a warrior, 27 class. I mean, dude, really? You're going to are you going to miss? I guess it might be, yeah. Anyway, so uh, so the, the, the prince, is, I don't he just decided he was that he, like that was going to be his name. Yes, because uh, um, yeah. yeah, at first I, so. I thought he was actual royalty because I, I was right. like, no, he. I forgot how he how he yeah, came up with the name. Yeah, there was there was some sort of explanation for how, how how he came up with it, but I think it was just like you know he he manipulated a bunch of uh, kids that he went to school with into right. you know serving him. So right. it's like you know he he's he's just like lording it over uh, this this group of people, and so that's why he's the prince. You know? It it was great in the book also how the author actually I mean kind of solves a lot of things. I mean in the end he. Even when they do that flashback, right. you know, he's telling him, you know, all you could just gang up on him. Dude. Mm -hmm. You could end it right now. Right. And, and I mean, that's really the truth of it. But people were afraid of him. And then as that grew, as that grew, he created this like kind of network of people. And because yeah. at first it was like, oh, what is, is this guy just like a gangster punk teen? But then it's like and he's like, oh, yeah, I got this information because he's like he like offers to bribe one of the characters yeah. with like like by giving her by giving them like a girl that he's like oh yeah she'll do anything for me and then he finds out that like oh yeah i got information from this guy yeah once i mentioned that little girl he started like drool and it was like oh that's when it's like oh this is getting like dark and real yeah mm -hmm. In manipulation on high levels yeah yeah the prince excels at uh yeah making people uh yeah giving them like learned helplessness and I, mm. yeah, I mean, it's, it's like the whole sort of like stockholm syndrome type thing where it's like and it's yeah. by design. Yeah. I mean, oh, he designs yeah, to, yeah, to yeah. strip you down to get you in that position. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. that's what makes him happy. That's what drives him. Mm -hmm. Is that if I can make you, you know, feel a certain way, then I win. Mm. Right. That, that's when it, because they, uh, they talk about like experiments that were done on warrant helplessness in those, oh, movies, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Where they're talking about like the mm -hmm. dogs that they would like shock and, right. and they yeah. go to like, there's a lot of like, oh, we did a scientific experiment. And it's like, what? You didn't need to do that. Mm -hmm. Like Pavlov's thing, where they like, right. like oh yeah yeah, like yeah. install. It was like way worse. I'm like oh, we checked if they drooled or not. They, they, they like like did surgery on the dogs' mouths and stuff. Yeah, and it's like I don't think you needed to do all that, man. I I think for an experiment, there was a less psychotic way of going about that. It's but it's crazy, dude. That whole I I don't even go there because it it it'll it'll kind of flip the way you think um, about experiments and stuff. So I mean, I just hope that no one's doing any on me. <laughs> but right. but I mean, even all of our. All of our knowledge on hypothermia, the majority of that comes from uh, concentration camps in, in Germany, mm -hmm. that they were doing it on people to see how long Germans could survive in cold water, how long. So there's so many of those things that came from bad places, you know, and yeah, so I, I don't know about experimentation, yeah. but. Well, yeah, what, what, one other thing about the Prince, uh, a recurring theme is that he will always ask people, why is it yeah. wrong to kill people? Why mm -hmm. is it wrong to kill people? And it seems like this is this is kind of at the at the heart of his personality because it's like, I mean, there's there's also a lot of stuff in this book about how the prince is a child and he thinks that all of these adults, uh, <coughs> sort of under <coughs> underestimate him because he's a child. But but he finds that all of these adults are not really any wiser than, right. than, than mm -hmm. he is, and so he keeps asking adults, why is it wrong to kill people? And he always gets what, to his mind, is an unsatisfying answer. But I don't even think the question that he's asking, right? he doesn't want answered. It's not even the point. Well, yeah, and that's... Uh, yeah, he's asking yeah. the question because he already knows how right. you're going to respond. Right. And there's, there's this one other character in the book. Uh, um, his name is uh, Suzuki. Who is it? Who is a uh, the like, professor? Yeah, yeah. He's like a professor tutor on the on the uh, train. And like, as as you're as you're reading the book, you kind of expect that there's going to be a little bit of a bigger payoff <laughs> with him. Like like he's going to turn yeah. out to be something I'm else. Like, but, oh, he must be the wasp. Right. He must right. be the whatever the bug yeah, guy but, assassin yeah, yeah, names yeah, are. But he's just a regular guy. <laughs> he yeah. was just. A but person. let's but let's think of that. Mm -hmm. So here's the thing that, that that was I was thinking about even after I, mm. I listened to this book. Mm -hmm. Okay. If the main dad bought all the tickets on the train, then who were they, all the other people? Even the people that were in and out of the story. Yeah, that's because it's like the professor being there. It was like, oh, he must be one of them. But then it's like, oh, did he just not buy all of the tickets or he only bought like a couple? That's what I mean. And you're thinking, OK, it, could he be some? That's why I thought I liked mm -hmm. it because I kept on going back in my head. Well, what about this character? 
What about mm-hmm. the the the, the cross dresser? Yeah. What about you know? Yeah, there's like I, there, I'm like, how, were they? Were there's they? like four characters yeah. that are like, oh, were they just people there, yeah, or right, were right. they one of the people that was like, oh, is that like the big? And I because I, I was like, oh, the teacher's definitely gonna be. Oh, so yeah. he's gonna be like, oh, I'll teach you, and then you know, yeah, right, right. And especially and even the way that he him. answered the prince. I thought, mm-hmm. oh, okay, oh, yeah. why is he always hanging around? Why is this guy always doing this? Mm-hmm. So, you know, and, and, and it was good in the book how, how basically all of them were there for kind of the same reasons, mm-hmm. you know, different reasons. One was the kid and the briefcase and then get the briefcase and then, and then no, I'm working for this person. I work for that. It was great. I, I, I love that part. Right. Well, yeah, but yeah, I mean, the, the uh, you know, professor gives the most sort of detailed answer to, to, to this question at the end where, yeah, he really does kind of deconstruct it and say like, well, yeah, I mean, you know, what, what do you really want to know mm-hmm. when you ask that question? Uh, is it wrong to kill people? I mean, do you really actually want an answer? See, to that's, that? Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah, so that was, that was cool the way that he sort of, uh, you know, deconstructed it, even though the prince once again, is unsatisfied by that answer, but yeah. but that that may sort of prove prove the point. Yeah, and there um, there are two characters who you get more in depth. I think that would be a splitter mark if there was any for this book. Would be when those two characters reveal what their purpose is towards mm-hmm. the end. Yeah, because we've been kind of like skirting around a lot. But of like major when things. yeah, when those characters come in, that's um, oh. that's like a definite split. But that's when I was like, nice. Sweet. Um, yeah, but that'll oh, yeah. be that'll. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about that because that was yeah. Because that that's when we get like, a, like him getting an answer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and right, and right. here here's something that even, like I said, I don't think that it was, you know, just, per chance, but just the guy Lemon, was it Lemon with the trains? Yep. Lemon with the trains, and they're on a bullet train. It was just great. Right. Yeah. Right. It's just <laughs> I never I never could. It was just <laughs> great. I was oh wow. I was really like, yeah, I guess he was into trains for no reason. Uh, no, um, I mean, yeah. the, the, it, the books yeah. about trains. Yeah. yeah. Are you uh, a uh, yeah. useful train? Yeah. 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 Mm. That was great. That, that was yeah. great. Yeah, no, I love that part. It was, it was pretty cool. Yeah. I, and uh, and even the fact that that they had backup plans on top of backup plans, which would be in the spoiler. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. The uh so, and if you're squeaking, that's our bullet train. Yeah, we will. Right. Yeah, <laughs> we're on a train right now. <laughs> we're on a runaway train. Runaway train. Mm. Never coming back. Attention the staff. Song. Attention staff. Yeah. You know the song? Yeah, okay. yeah, I do. Oh, okay, you didn't, yeah, you didn't yeah. jump in. I don't. Well, I don't know it that well, but oh. I runaway know that, I know train, that, I know that never coming yeah. back. I can't sing. Yeah. So, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I thought the reference was going to come through, but it no, made, even uh, made me more confused. Yeah, once it, once he crosses the threshold, you're like, all right, we have to just move on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I my favorite guy was probably um the dad who was like in the prince's clutches the whole time. Mm, yeah, yeah. And it, and at first it's like, oh, was this was just like some like out of his element dad, and then you find out like what hit, what was going on with him. Right. Yeah. I mean, you yeah you find out in those flashbacks that the prince was actually maybe sort of threatened by this guy mm-hmm. because the guy didn't actually seem that scared of him. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, and there's there's the scene where you know he's like you know get him boys and it, it is a grown man so he's just right. like I can this isn't an issue for like basically like a grown yeah. man just comes into like this like kids like I'm gonna take over the world yeah. right. slowly and it's gradually like in the brain yeah and the guy's just like get no stop get the, leave that dog alone. And like that's it. That's yeah. all it took for like his whole like perception of himself to be shattered. That's, so now he's like, I'm gonna make cool. him suffer. I don't know who would my be, be my best character. I mean, realistically, if you're talking about how how a character makes you feel, I mean, unfortunately, it would be the prince. I mean, he's written really well. I mean, it was just mm-hmm. really, even though I hated his guts. Mm-hmm. Sure. Um, I don't know if there's a best. I just enjoyed the whole thing, man. Mm-hmm. I, I yeah, yeah, I, I, I just I, did. I, I can't even think of a single part where I went like, ah, we could do without this. Yeah. In in most books, you know, there's always like, ah, yeah, that was like fine. I don't, I didn't need that. But this whole book, I'm like, oh, all of this was yeah, the story. No, totally mm-hmm. agree with you. Mm-hmm. Totally That's why with you. the movie, I'm like, whatever they cut out. I don't know. I mean, maybe the snake bit that would be fine. But well, then that's like the payoff to like a. a whole oh, that's a whole so, thing and everything. Snake, yeah. yeah. And 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 his uh, and his his. Um, 
uh, handler, or they don't call them handler, they call mm-hmm. them, uh, um, what do they call them in there? Go-betweens. Go-betweens. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's so interesting because they, 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 they just pepper the top that she knew what was going on. Right. She Because she had made some statements that I'm like, wait, how did she even know that? Mm-hmm. Interesting. Yeah. So it's like, how much of did she know what was going on? Right, right. And then, and if you remember in the beginning how her personality was, and when we get to the spoilers, how her personality was. Mm-hmm. It's almost like she knew exactly what was going to happen. Right. And then changed her approach on what to do. Uh, yeah, so it was cool because it made me think of all the people involved. Like, dude, is this person involved? And yeah, because well, yeah, yeah. her story at the end, it is like, hey, wait a minute. You said it, this. Exactly. And like, ah. So yeah. it's like, oh, and like, I'm like, oh, was that person? That was, was, yeah. Like, oh, yeah, I was watching TV. Well, it is, you know, <laughs> espionage. Yeah. Dark thriller. Dark thriller. Um, now, do we have anything we want to get into before we talk about spoilers? Well, I went to the 99 cent store. Oh, Ooh, really? And, and, okay. No, I'm just kidding. I don't yeah. dive into that. That's crazy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. You have a you have a spoiler alert announcement voice. Oh, I don't, but I can I could I could think of something. A spoiler alert. Yeah. You know, I was thinking of the book that we read. It was that book? Uh, um, Dungeon Carl. Dungeon Crawler Carl. Yeah. What, what did the the AI always say? Do you see? I totally forgot. Oh uh, yeah, I know. I'm blanking. It's a good book. Okay. I can't remember. <laughs> and they'd be like, uh, you know, level up. Or was level up or... New Achievement! achievement. Yeah. <laughs> that, that would be it. Yeah. You definitely got to read that book. It's great. New okay. Achievement! Spoiler alert. There we go. It's a, it's a literary RPG. Oh, it's, really, it's really good. Um, yeah, so... Or just watch our show. Or just check out the, the multitude of episodes we have. Yeah. They're slowly getting on audio. Because I, I burned through the month's allotment I had. Nice. Um, so there's 12 up on audio. Nice. All right, all right. All right. Let's get to the spoiler. Okay. Well, yeah. I mean, probably the biggest <laughs> spoiler that you guys referenced was, yeah, that the, that one character, uh, Kimura, he has these elderly parents mm-hmm. that you just sort of hear about a little bit. And then they finally get a phone call from the prince where the prince is like... <laughs> ha, ha, ha. I have, I, 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 I have killed your son, and uh, he's in this very dangerous situation. And then, you have these these two elderly people just having a nice time at their home, and they're like, "Oh, well, I guess we better get ready. Mm. Let's get the uh, guns." <laughs> and uh, yes, oh, dude, they that, were the best. That <laughs> gradual reveal of it, because like how they are, like, "Oh, he's probably drunk doing a prank or something." Right, and then, right. Yeah, they don't. They never change in their. It's not like they go like, "Oh, it's time to get serious." Yeah, it is like, "Oh, that's who they were." They're like, right. "Oh, we haven't done this in so long," and like the, the the wife's like, "Oh, make sure you get that gun." Right. And that was the coolest part about it because the prince had no idea, mm-hmm. so he's just thinking he has something over this guy. Um, and they and they make references to the parents and they mm-hmm. have communication. I never once thought that was happening mm-hmm. right. until all of a sudden he started. It stunk. Yeah, and, yeah. And then I'm like, okay, what is that about? And then it turns out he's like an OG. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it's like this character, um, 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 Yuichi, has this uh, dark past, and you think that maybe it's something that he's ashamed of and that he was hiding from his parents, but then you realize, oh, no, he actually went into that because that was like the family business. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and his setup is um, the prince, like, pushed his son off a roof. Right. Yeah, the, uh, yeah, the son, well, anyone listening to it has really read the book or, you know, whatever, but they, yeah. They so got the their, prince pushed they his got their son. freaking alert. They got their alert. That's right. So here it is. <laughs> so this kid gets pushed off a roof. No, so the kid gets pu- pushed off a roof, but he does it on purpose to entangle this guy. Mm-hmm. Right? So he has. And that was like the second reveal because at first, like, oh, yeah. like, oh, this guy wants to get the prince because he did that, but the prince, like, I did that to get to you. Right. Right. Uh, that's what. That's why I think the prince in itself, and the way he, the way he wrote him, I mean, just was, it was really cool. Mm-hmm. Even though you hated the guy, and there were points where I was just like, "Oh my gosh, I can't believe he just did that." Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then there were points where I was just like, "Just shoot him in the face." Right. Yeah. And he, yeah. And he has the it was like, "Oh, if you if I don't make this phone call with, yeah. at at certain times, if I miss my phone call, I have someone at the hospital who's going to kill your son." So the, the guy who you find out is like a very good fighter 
is just yeah. like, oh, I can't do anything. And like at one point they like he like goes to like do like fingernail oh, with a knife. needle torture. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. And if he screams, he's gonna call. Mm hmm. And what what was cool about the book, you tell me if you guys, you know, liked it. I thought it was great. Where um where in the end, um when his when the prince's plans are kinda unraveling, mm -hmm. you could see his adolescence. Right. I that's what I thought was so cool how the writer Broke it down. He was a kid, mm -hmm. and he, and he started showing those kids' way of thinking and, and right. starting to grasp straws because all these things are happening, and that was great. And you see him go through like all of his like, yeah. oh, I do this when someone catches on to me, and yeah. then that doesn't work, and he's like, oh, oh no, no, yes. like, and yeah. like it's like, oh, it, it actually is starting to dawn on him the yeah. situation he found himself in. Yeah, that Which, was great. That's what I lo was like. Because at first, when the when the parent gets like the phone call and the guy's like, "Hey, dad, I'm in trouble," and the dad's like, "Ah, oh, what is a prank?" I was like, "Man, those are like that's a terrible. That was terrible." Oh, yeah. But the like, whole those, thing is, those parents suck. No, no. But the whole thing. I mean, you're thinking of you're thinking of you know you don't know, you know, and it, mm -hmm. he's an alcoholic. He's drunk. He's this. He's that. So I mean, that might be the response of a parent mm -hmm. if, if your son's always out oh, doing stupid yeah. shit. And like the the seat like the scene that made me like, oh, I love the the grandpa. Was when the the prince is like, oh, grandpa and grandma, and the guy's like, don't do that. Nailed it. Right. He's like, you're nailed it. He's like, oh, he's, loved he's, it. he's picking those. He's doing yep. that on purpose to talk down to us. Yeah. And, and oh, the, yeah. the prince is like, oh no, like no, like it, like the narr constantly the narration points like he'll say that he does that on purpose. Yes. Like, no one catches on, but the grandpa's immediately yeah. like, you're being a little brat right now. I know what you're doing. Stop bothering me. And that like, was great. I know you're hiding something. I can smell it on you. You're deceitful. Your line was like, yeah. "Oh, Grandpa rules." But he still, he but he still manipulated them. Mm -hmm. There are points oh, where yeah. he still manipulated with them. the phone call. At the yeah, end. with like, the phone ah, call. Stuff. I mean, but, uh, then, that, but then they pulled out their own. Like, oh, we planned for that. Now, could you imagine that in my movie mind? I could imagine that. I could imagine sure. that whole booth scene. Mm -hmm. You know, back and forth with that. Oh, that would be oh, yeah, absolutely. Just yeah, just back and forth dialogue. Great. There's a phone call. The guy who, the grandpa who, like, just came into, like, oh, oh, is he going to completely take over this situation? It's like, oh, no, he didn't because he doesn't know that phone call mattered yeah. in a different way than he thought it would. But then he's like, oh, but I plan, I, like, I hired someone to protect my grandson. Yeah. And oh, so sure. that leads, so, so the prince is like, oh, that was, like, his final. Yeah, yeah I mean. Get the, Mel Gibson in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> the uh, the uh, prince is smarter than everybody else, or he's, like, always one or two steps ahead of everybody else. Most of the time, but mm -hmm. his flaw is that he he is he, he he has this strong belief that he is stronger than everybody. He, he is smarter. Well, that his luck. Well, well right, that right, luck right, 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 right. That is that, that is that his luck even is if it's bad him. luck, it's yeah. going to be good luck. Mm -hmm. And it, right, and in right. certain aspects, I mean, you see that. Yeah. But that, that's the whole oh, intertangle, sure. though, of, of of the whole yin and yang. The way this guy wrote the, wrote the book, all the right. way even to the snake. <laughs> it's yeah. like, really. Right, that dude's right. got that bad of luck, but mm -hmm. it still works out and balances itself out. So interesting. Yeah, definitely. But but and and I mean the the prince always thinks, well, you know, I'm smarter than all of these adults because I've read all of these books, and so you know I can mm -hmm. I can basically uh, you know ha have all of this knowledge that makes me actually smarter than adults. But you know, towards the end of the book, you see that well, there really is this other kind of knowledge or you know, smarts that only comes with, with time, you know, yeah. with, with, with wisdom. And you can see that. Yeah. With like, uh, you know, the, 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 uh, grandpa and, uh, grandma, uh, basically, uh, starting to laugh at the prince when, <laughs> when, when he, when he keeps asking this question of, is it, is it wrong to kill people? They're like, well, yeah, you know, I mean, oh. every, 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 every child always goes through a phase where they're fascinated with that question. Yes. Yes, we all used to ask that question, and you know it's it's a very cute phase that you go through <laughs> and everything. That, that was, was that good. was such a good speech where oh, they're yeah, just like yeah, yeah it's like <laughs> every person goes like, what's the point of living if there's no point if we're all gonna die anyway? Right. We all get over it. Mm -hmm. You're gonna get over it. Actually, and then it's and you know you know you you think you're better than us because you're younger, but I live to be this age, and you're not gonna live to be that. Age. You're oh, not. Right. That and was that was such insane. a that's when you find yeah, out like yeah. what kind of, like oh like this, he, this isn't just gonna be a like they're not he's not gonna be arrested. Right. The grandpa no. says I live to be seventy, yeah. which means I'm gonna live longer than you're going to. Yeah, yeah you're that, not gonna live to be my age. Dude, that part was, <laughs> and see that's what I hated about it. I hated the buildup. 
Right. I was ready to see this something happen to this kid. Yeah, I hate they, to say it, and then it's like you sure. just get carried off the train. Mm, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, because the the uh, the the whole dialogue was just like, yeah, I'm gonna make you suck. Like I'm gonna cut you to pieces, cut in pieces, and, and I'm then the take, grandma's response is great. Oh, yeah, he hasn't cut people to pieces in a long time. Yeah, and how he's right. like, oh, and I'm this isn't a metaphor. I'm not gonna break you down. Like so, I'm going to cut you into pieces. And the grandma's like, normally I tell him not to do stuff like that, but yeah, you threaten grand. my grandson. Yeah. So, like, right. how the grandma is also, like, she's not, like, uh, like she is, like, in on it. Like, they are, like, a team. And they mention that, like, oh, I've saved you on a couple of yeah. these jobs, and like, I've saved you. Um, and the use of the guns and her gun and, and, and his, yeah. And the prince, of, you know, you don't, you don't, you, you, they do, like, imply that, like, oh, yeah, we found, like, a dismembered body. Right. Like, down by they the river. They do. Um, but, yeah, and you do get the prince being, like, but yeah, it would have been nice to because we get the scene of the of the dad getting like you know tortured yeah. with the finger. So I, I would have liked like him getting a little taste, like of like it. A, like yeah. a momentum. If he had a necklace that they would constantly talk about, and then in the end say, yeah, they found this body and with a necklace and blah blah mm-hmm. blah. That would have been like okay. So as the reader, you get a finality. Right. And there there was yeah. a, the interesting point because it like when it is like oh but you know there's so many missing dead children that we can't pinpoint and it's like oh that's a that's an interesting thing to bring up well i mean yeah i mean it's it's um when when the uh, grandpa makes that makes that monologue to the to the uh, prince you know i mean in a in a uh, way that's sort of all that you need because you just you just need the prince to be really scared and Mm -hmm. and realize oh no i okay i it's i my my luck has, has finally you know run out run out but on the other hand, you know, you you do kind of want to actually see it happen in some way because you feel like, well, until until these people actually do, you know, kill and dismember this <laughs> yeah. kid, this this yeah. this this kid may still have this crazy luck yeah, that that, 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 that that you know gets him out of even this situation. So it's like, you know, you know, when, whenever these people are you know confronting the prince and are saying something, you you know, you always can see, oh, but. They're gonna they're, they're gonna mess up at the very last moment. Yeah, you know? and don't get and me it, wrong. I mean, it's not killer for me. No, it's, it just <laughs> would have been. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, I, I like because like after that, like it just it's like oh, cut away and like here's like yeah. the people talking about it, and they mention like like oh yeah, like the the old couple just shot their way out. <laughs> like, right. like oh yeah, they're like oh, oh they were cl- but they, were... They, they shot them at shoulder joint locations and like oh they so like, didn't kill them. That like the um the mob bot or the yakuza leader or whatever yeah. um yeah. his like he sends his team in. And they mentioned that like a bunch of them got like shot by that yeah. old couple, but they, they shot them just to disable. Well, they were, they were saying they were legends. Yeah, so they're like, oh yeah, those you the guys, yeah the the lady was like, you have no idea what kind of train you were on. I like right. how they kept calling it the death train. I'm like, I, I feel right. like that was the working yeah. title for this. Yeah. Um, and then <laughs> they're like, ah, we'll call it bullet train. Yeah. They, they do have guns. So I mean, it is it is definitely um, movie material. Oh yeah. I mean, I mean, definitely movie material. Um, oh yeah. Uh, one thing I, I will mention about the movie is that uh, so in the book, Tangerine and Lemon are described as being very similar looking. Yeah, like, almost they, twins. Yeah, exactly. Oh yeah, they, the yeah. Point. People are, we yeah. thought they were twins. Yeah, yeah. But in the movie, yeah. uh, the, uh, one of them is played by a white actor, the other is played yeah. by a black actor. So oh, okay. I don't know if They're that's totally a joke. Different. Well, yeah, since I, yeah. Yeah. as I don't see race, that yeah. that will have no effect on. The okay. <laughs> Fair enough. I guess I'm the, I'm the racist <laughs> one who, who thinks that. I... <laughs> no, I, I am the racist one of the trio. No, no that, that yeah, that's that's one of those things where it's just like, oh, why does that bug you? You're like, oh, so, okay, but the narr- the book specifically says they right. looked exactly the same, right? To the right. point where people were confused that they were twins. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, it's well, that's uh, why they were it, re- referred yeah. to as the twins. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it you know would be funny if you know in the in the movie they still you know kept that. <laughs> I, I mean, I mean it was it, it would be like you know like you know Arnold Arnold uh, Schwarzenegger and you know Danny Danny DeVito, De, Danny DeVito is is twins. You know? Yeah, you know, that, yeah. That, that kind of twins. You know, yeah. Yeah, they call them the twins, and someone goes like, "Why? Someone yeah. goes, what do you right, mean right. why?" And they're like, "Oh, I no, yeah. I was just oh, so, you know, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, thinking about it, I would probably totally like bypass that in any conversation. Oh, sure. It's just going to route yeah. you down the wrong. What do you mean yeah. by that? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> what, are you, what are you saying? No, but I, I think it's definitely movie material. Mm-hmm. I just don't, I, you know, just Hollywood always messes it up. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I don't, I don't think they'll do I don't have job, any faith on it. I, I'm going to watch yeah. it premiere night. Either um, they're going to go too heavy on the bad luck, mm-hmm. which I could totally see that. Right. Just too much. I mean, it, and it really wasn't like that in the book. I mean, it was more in his head. 
Casper. And him constantly thinking. Well, and you, you see, up. like, he doubts himself so much. Oh, yeah. He overthinks every issue. Yeah. And then also the snake thing was just. That was great. Um, and I, I, but I also, I'm, at one point, I did, I was listening to this while I was at a pool and I did fall asleep. Um, <laughs> when, um, when. Oh, my goodness. Um, not because it was boring. I, it is such a comfy read um, that I, ju- I, I miss when the dad got shot. And I was like, oh, I don't. Oh, that's. You know what's mm. crazy about that? I miss that too. Oh, Duncan? Uh, Did you uh, miss it? <laughs> you're, you're talking about when uh, um, um, Yuichi gets, gets shot? Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. I. Uh, I uh, remember that part. Okay, good. So that did yeah, happen. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, <laughs> well, I, I mean, I was doing the same thing. I was in, I was listening to it, and I don't know. Maybe he just started humming a lullaby right then. <laughs> yeah. I, I remember waking up and, you know, him getting thrown in the closet. Yeah. And, and I'm I, like, what the what the? Yeah, I was, I was like, I don't know when I could have missed. I'm not going to rewind. But And I was like, I, I, yeah. I, I, I can... You can get the gist. I can piece together what happened. Yeah. He got shot by one of Lemon or Tangerine or something. Yeah, yeah. He gets shot by uh, Lemon. Yeah, the uh, the uh, prince sort of like manipulates Lemon into into shooting him. Right. I really I really want to talk about Lemon and Tangerine. We're deep yeah. into spoilers yeah. too. Okay. But just yeah. Because yeah. um, I I liked how you see each and I was upset that they both died. But yeah. um, me too. Um, I when uh, Lemon with the tank engine. Mm-hmm. Um, how he immediately like figures out the prince. Oh yeah, using his Thomas the Tank yeah. Engine stuff. Like mm-hmm. you're a bad train, you're a diesel, right. you're this, and then he like he got drugged. I may have missed that part too. Well, mm-hmm. but he didn't get drugged by the prince. He's he was a- drugged by the other guy because yeah, the other guy by, was trying yeah. to get the case. Mm, so yeah, he slipped um, something into his seltzer water. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, Nanao put some put some sleeping powder into a, a water bottle, mm-hmm. and and it's it's specifically said at that point, you know, be, because he has such bad luck, he wants to cut cover all of his bases, and so, right. and so he does that just in case. <laughs> yeah, but and and then that turns out to actually, but be, be and, bad, but, yeah. <laughs> a bad a bad thing, yeah. which then with that was his bad luck. Yeah, <laughs> right. yeah. Um, and then. You know, like he just falls asleep, and the prince just shoots him in the head. Like, oh, come on, not, yeah. not lemon. Yeah, but yeah, what's, was what bad. was crazy, what I liked about the lemon character and the orange character, uh, tangerine, tangerine, tangerine yeah. um, is they had fail safes mm. yeah. that, that they would know if the other person's dead. Yeah, I really that liked was when awesome when tangerine comes in and explains to the prince who's doing like the innocent act, and tangerine just starts like breaking down, like. Well, this, this, and this. Oh, do you know right. what what engine he said? He's like, no. He's like, that's interesting because he tells everyone. Yeah. He tells everyone a hundred percent of the time, and how he just he just starts piecing it together. Yeah, yeah, and that was that, that was interesting because at that point you think, oh, you know, t- Tangerine is like the you know hero of this book, and he's like summing this up <laughs> as like this brilliant Sherlock Holmes type mm-hmm. character, and he's he's figuring everything out. And then, and then, um, 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 Nanao comes in and just breaks his, breaks that's, his neck. That's, <laughs> that's the I, I rewinded that section four times because I was like, a, no, that's what I, no, dude, I even vocalized it. I'm like, yeah, yeah. no, yeah, because I mean, yeah, I'm thinking to myself, yeah. dude, you could have killed the kid. Yeah, this guy had him in there in his sights. I, I, I was like, no, that's not what it said. That he was first, his head was looking one way, then it was looking yeah. the other. Oh, something caught him off guard, and then right. he was, oh, he. He got knocked out. Yeah, Let me just rough. confirm that he got knocked Jeez. out. Jeez. Okay. Yeah, that was a yeah. tough part. Yeah, but, this but, is, yeah. But, yeah, but you know, before but we um before he gets killed, he manages to quote uh, Dostoevsky. He, he quotes from uh, crime and cr- crime and uh, punishment, and also from demons, and so that's uh, that's why he's my favorite character. Mm-hmm. Crime and, crime now, do you uh, do you remember what that quote was? Uh, the quote from um, demons was something about how like at a certain point. Um, Crime became the only sanity, uh, and yeah, yeah, and it was and, and, and it was a way of him him responding to uh, the it, prince's it, the prince's question about oh yeah why, why is why, it wrong why is it wrong to kill people and then and then the quote from Crime and Punishment is something about uh, it's 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 all about preserving your your uh, your uh, self uh, foremost uh, yeah dun dun um, was he the one that like is like is it wrong for me to pee on you. Or was that the professor? I think that was the uh, professor oh, okay. later on. Yeah, it was yeah. explaining like why is it wrong to kill someone? Like why is it wrong for me to pee on you right, right. now? Yeah, and it's because, well, it's it's because there are laws in place. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah I, and then it goes into it's not laws aren't about like w- what's ethical; it's about like protecting mm-hmm. the state. 
Yeah. And I was yeah. like, yeah, I don't think that's going to make it into yeah. the movie. Oh, no. <laughs> probably, no. I don't think that bit. None of these long, interesting monologues are going to make it into, no. into no. the movie. No, no. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> oh, you know that's not going to be. Yeah. But those are, I, I think, like I said, all the characters are great. Mm-hmm. Oh, Even yeah. to the fact with the guy that got shot. Mm-hmm. You know, they make references where, the, you know, the guy's saying, oh, yeah, my son, he's like, you, you could step on him with a giant shoe and he'll be mm-hmm. fine. And, yeah, and that was cool when he was alive, because yep. I I was really bummed out mm-hmm. when yeah. when he died. I'm like, man, are you serious? Mm-hmm. And that's what they, that's what the, why I kept on hating this guy even more. Because, oh yeah, dude, he keeps getting away, and he how keeps like, on getting away, and like Tangerine is like, oh, like he has this like um, booby trapped gun that oh, yeah. he like gives him. Yeah. I'm like, yes, the prince is gonna shoot, and he just drops it, and the prince is like, that's probably a good thing that that happened. Mm-hmm. And then it, and he and it was like, god damn. Tangerine's gonna pull through here, though. He he's gone. Tangerine's gone. Yeah, I know. Yeah. He's peeled. <laughs> he's peeled. Yeah, you can't say pitted. Pitted. Yeah. No, because it's yeah. a tangerine. Yeah. I'm not. Tangerine's like a small orange, right? It's like a cutie, right? Mm-hmm. Is it? Yeah. It's, it's, it's like cutie you guys. On steroids? It's like you guys. Yeah. It's like a cutie on steroids. Mm. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> tangerine's bigger. Because like bigger. the orange is the worst citrus. The orange is the why? Why do you say that? Because it's very hard to peel and it's a lot of pulp. Yeah. Whereas the mandarin is like there's the fact that that just exists where it's like it's store it has packaging and it's made in like segmented bites. It's like this is like designed to be eaten you know this is the perfect fruit whhereas the orange it's like does anyone have a knife let me let me it's like wrapped in two inches of paper let me well, get just, through that it's the type I'm, I'm of orange that you get mm. i ain't never mm-hmm. had a, an orange that's wowed me really yeah now comment below what your favorite citrus is duncan what, what what's your citrus of choice you know i'm, I'm not a big citrus guy in general i mean you know, <laughs> lemon i guess <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a big citrus man in general, but when I prefer my fruit, uh, Frank. Um, I don't even know if it's a fruit, but uh, I like pomegranates. Hmm. That's your favorite citrus. Also, oh, citrus is not a citrus fruit, is it? Uh, probably, uh, probably an orange. An orange? Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Because if you get cuties, dude, they're easy to peel. It's almost like they, it's almost like this little brain that sits inside, floating all these nice little (laughs) strings, and you just open it up, just. Hmm. Hmm. Well, so what would uh, you guys do if you went to a grocery store (laughs) and you won a bag that was filled with tangerines (laughs) and lemons? Would that excite you? Um,. Uh, I mean, tangerines. I mean, yeah. I mean, as okay. a citrus man myself. Well, yeah. let's, let's unwrap that. <laughs> um, okay. <yeah. laughs> uh, what do you think about the end of that? This would that that was something I was like, I'm just going to ask Duncan what this means. Yeah, right. because he said, remember, I'll always be back. And it's like, okay. Yeah, they're like, we're immortal. We can't. If yeah. we die, we'll just come back. And then and now it's like, you know what? I survived all that. Maybe I got some of the prince's luck. Because I don't think that guy's that lucky no more. Right. It's like, oh, let's 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 play at this grocery store lottery that has to be yeah. a Japanese thing. Yeah, and it's like you won third place. Mm-hmm. It's like that's well, yeah. I mean, you know, once once you know, again, I thought that uh, him him running into that character um, 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 Suzuki there, there would be some big reveal. Oh, Suzuki was actually, mm-hmm. but no, he was just a guy that he saw there who uh, ended up going through the line faster than him. <laughs> so that was another illustration of his bad luck uh but uh yeah the uh, final image i mean it's like it's like funny it's kind of like you know yeah he wins a lottery and gets tangerines yeah. and lemons and that's like the ending shot yeah. yeah yeah that's when like that's the um in the movie it's gotta be you know they're just gonna open the case it's just tangerines and lemons and right, then right. and then like uh, what mu- what music were they? What, I heard they they were playing. What song were they playing in the trailer? Oh, I didn't. I yeah. I don't remember. It was like a pop song. Mm-hmm. But yeah. they'll they'll play that and then cut the credits. Right, now, right. what's the interesting part about it is that you had this guy throughout the whole book, really way heavy on equalizations like yin and yang, right? Good, mm-hmm. bad, lucky, unlucky. Um, and it's funny because if now the prince is out of it. You got to have that balance. 
So I thought they were going to bring something. And that's what right. I expected with the, that's what I got out of the lemon lime thing. Sure. I got out of that. Well, there's, there's other, there, there's always going to be that dark side. There's mm-hmm. always going to be the lucky and the unlucky and, and how it all blends together. Right. You can't right. have one without the other. Sure. That's mm-hmm. how I took it. Because they do match. They're perfectly that's split how I down took the middle. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, I didn't <clears throat> go out and get any lemons or anything, but. No, I, I I did. I got. Did I've been getting back into um, w- lime and cucumber in like a jug of water. Limes? Mm. Yeah. Refreshing. What does the lime actually do? Um, citrus is good for for you. Plasma. To drink. Yeah, yeah. Build it's, up your plasma. I'm getting it's, my it, plasma. It, it uh, prevents uh, scurvy, I think. Right? So, yeah. yeah, that's yeah. true. And everyone wants a good case of scurvy. Everyone. Mm-hmm. Sure. You got it. You know. That's what I hear. So, folks, yes. How do we feel about this book? Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Out of, uh, I would say, out of ten lemons, I give it a eight and a half. Mm-hmm. On a scale of orange to mandarin, I'll give it a mandarin. I like that. Um, we covered the themes, didn't we? I think so. Yeah. 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 I did. I think. Uh, but in the end. Uh, definitely, I would actually. Well, it all depends. If you want to go into blindly, wait for the movie. Yeah. And then read the book and go, man, the movie sucked. But then you already yeah. saw the movie. I feel. Right. Or you could read the book first <laughs> and then go into the movie going, this movie's going to suck. And then you go, man, it sucks because they didn't do X, Y, and Z. So yeah, you, I, you can do it. I'm betting it's going to be the thing where I'm going to watch and be like, oh, I know what scene was supposed to go here. Right. Yeah. Um, so that should, they just didn't have time to do that. They didn't have time to cover the stuff that made me like it more, mm-hmm. made it stand out. Or you could just go in and enjoy it and just be like, yeah, they didn't, yeah. Eh, they wrong. did nothing like the book, but, I mean, it's a unique take on a bullet train. Right. It is. If you're if you're a hankering for some bullet train films, this yeah. is one. I thought this had a movie adaption made uh, in Japan, but. Uh, really? I was about to watch it. No, it was like, it's just, it's just called Bullet Train. I was like, oh, cool. They made one in Japan, oh, yeah. and now it's getting it. No, it's – so if you're like me and you're just going to look up movies and assume they're based off the book just because you're, you're currently reading it at the moment, um, you're going to be disappointed. Yeah, I have to imagine this is this is not the first Japanese work called Bullet Train. Yeah, it's, yeah, they, it's, that's, that's probably a pretty common name. And well, here's the other thing. they got a lot of train movies. The Train to Busan, that's a great mm-hmm. movie. I, uh, I have no frame of reference for what a bullet train is or how it operates over there. So it's not magnetic, I don't think, but it yeah. is a fast train. It's like yeah, it, it just goes, goes in like circles. Really yeah. Fast. yeah, that's no, no, it doesn't go in circles. It it just it goes over what almost seven hundred miles an hour or something like that. Mm-hmm. It goes really, really fast. Hmm. That's why in the book there's very few stops, and when they happen, they happen so close, right? Mm. Because these things go like super fast. Right. That'd be cool. Why don't we have? They're one building of those? one. We're, we're getting a bullet train. Yeah, they want to build one from L.A. to Vegas. Mm. I don't really like L.A. or Vegas, but. That's cool. <laughs> it's a start. Yeah. But these are going to be the the magnetic ones. They just did a trial on it. I just saw it in the news. Hmm. Yeah, so it's in a tube, and then it runs off of the magnetic pulses in the track. Speeds it along. Hmm. What is that called? They have guns that do that. Rail gun. Rail gun. That's right. You know that from video games. Yeah. <clears throat> Rail shooter. It's magnetic coils around a bullet. Makes yep. it go faster. Adds like plus three damage. Really? Yeah. Plus three. It's a lot. That's it a adds lot. up. Um, all right. Well, I think, well, I think that's it. Um, okay. I, I'll uh, I'll just go ahead. Uh, we're gonna co- we are gonna cover Moon Knight and yes. everything everywhere all at once. What do you guys want to do next week? Next week, I think. Um, I don't know. Um. We'll everything do. everywhere all at once so that'll be recording next week next oh yes week. oh yeah, i yeah. misunderstood the question okay. <laughs> yeah. yes. yes boy uh, anyway um, yes next week we'll be doing uh what is it everywhere anywhere any place everything Close everywhere enough, all yeah. At once. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just none of the words but you yeah, got the spirit of them something yeah. yeah um yeah i'll just go ahead and read a couple comments here perfect okay. we're, yeah. getting, we're getting a healthy flow of comments coming good 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 um Brittany, who recommended um espionage and etiquette oh hey Brittany. um she's recommending dorothy dunn it's lindman chronicles oh is it by the same speaker i don't know 
We'll look that up. Oh, because that was one of the best. Yeah, yeah that the narrator for that was uh, lovely. Oh, jolly. It was yeah. great. I can't do the voices. Um, Duncan, do you have any voices? Um, like British street urchin. Hello. Oh, okay. Hello. Yeah. All hello. your yeses here. Hello. hello. <laughs> There's a white street urchin. It's way down the barrel. That is the, that is the only word that I can do. <laughs> that's all hello. You, that's all you need over there. <laughs> you, you just say that. You just don't, don't want to slam down to my things. That's a really low end guy. Um, yeah, but you have to go into it knowing the main character mixes in different languages and references a lot in dialogue. Mm. So that'll, right. that'll be interesting. Yeah. I've never, that would be interesting. Cool. Ain't never seen something like that. I ain't never seen it. And, which by the way, yeah. if you join our Discord, which you can do, because the link not only for our Discord, but now Duncan's Instagram. Ah. Yes. Because he's here too. Yes, at overeducated underachiever. So that'll be, that. both of those links will All be. All at the same time. Every oh, next week. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All at once. Um, yeah, Will, who recommended the book. Uh, we Hi, have like, Will. We have a section for people to give thoughts on the books in our Discord. Yeah. Uh, he just had to say that, uh, yeah, it also has one of the most despicable or detestable little shite villains mm-hmm. I've ever seen. The prince is such a smarmy little jerk head villain. And oh, does yeah. the book get you more excited for the movie? It makes me nervous for the movie, but I'm if it's yeah. a good adaption, because my thing is I want people to know that there's a lot of cool stories out there. Yeah. But they, you know, a lot of people aren't going to read the book. The only change I think that would make it more freakier to me is if they change that character to a girl. The prince? Yeah. I kind of I kind I of get the impression they, they will. I think that they are. Because yeah. that would make it yeah, even yeah, more yeah. scarier. That really would. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, the uh, the uh, movie I I am I am expecting it to be uh, you know ha- have a have a, pa- a ha- ha- have a passing resemblance to the book. I, I, <laughs> yeah. I, I'm, I'm not expecting it to be, but but yeah. but so yeah. close to the book. Yeah. Snake on a train? Did you say that? Yeah, snake on a plane or a train? Yeah, snake, snake on, a train. on a train. That's, I mean, that's probably its alternate book, title. Yeah. Probably the book uh, Snake on a Plane probably didn't even have anything to do with the snake. It was just a guy with a snake tattoo. Mm. And then oh, when they made yeah. the movie, of course, it's nice yeah. The, sure, I'm kidding. I no, I, I like know. I like seeing the the. I saw one comic where it was like books telling a campfire story, and they're just and it's like and after and after ripping out half its pages, they made it into a movie. That's great. <laughs> I love it. That is how it feels. I mean, all the we talk about. All the, yeah, but thanks the, everyone for their comments. Yeah, uh, yeah keep them coming. Sure. Yeah. Uh, DM. I, I get people every now and then that will message me on Instagram. I don't post anything. Uh, me and Duncan are like the. It's just for you to find me. Right. Yeah. Um, if I, you... I post a lot because I have oh. art going and everything else like that. So yeah. you I'm... actually have stuff to post. I yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. Cool. I'm I'm posting a lot of stuff because my art and everything like that. I'm Laguna um, under two different Instagrams. My 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 name, uh, Frank W. Perrine and uh, MF3 Studios. Oh, and so. what I forgot to mention is you may have heard that we have a intro music now. Um, that's because there is a YouTuber that makes music. Um, he makes like um, music for like writing stuff too. So yeah, I heard there's, it was there's great. Like communities about that. Yeah. His name is Sean mm-hmm. Secret. And I asked him if we could use one of the songs and he said, yeah. And that's one of those weird things where it's like, oh, I'm like a fan of his and he's talking to me on Instagram. Wow. Well, I talked to him cool. first, but it is like, oh, that's cool. So yeah, he gave us. Um, that's cool. He said it's not a secret. Yeah. You no, could use it. Sean Secret. Um, check him out. He's actually, uh, you know, nice. he, 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 I heard it. It was great. Yeah. He yeah, makes, yeah, he makes it like great, yeah. once a week. And that's one of those things wow. where I don't get how you can do that. Like he's like, Oh, this is about a cyborg samurai. And I'm listening to him. Like, yeah, it oh, is. Wow. Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah. And I'm going to be, um, I was out for a little bit, but I'm back now. So I'll be, you'll be seeing some drawings and things like that. So, uh, let us know. Feedback, feedback. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, right. I think do, that's it. Do you have a, do you have an outro in mind? Um, get on that train and go to your dreams. Nice. All right. <laughs>